Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the Benji and we are watching Let's Play Soul Blazer. So, we've, um... <laughs> that guy's so delusional, he doesn't realize that there isn't a castle there. Uh-huh. It's fascism as finest. So, we went to the left tower of the Great Castle. We released the Queen, a super spy that says he knows all about the secrets of Madrid Castle, and most importantly, Dr. Leo. So, uh, there's, looks like there's gonna be some drama impending. Because even though we released Dr. Leo, he's still somewhere out of our reach. So we're gonna try to, to find him. So let's talk first of all to the Queen and see what she has to say to us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um... So what, the, what actually that was is a, uh, this is the, what was known as the VIP card. So this allows us to go anywhere in Magrid Castle that we wish. Uh, but we're not quite done. There's still um, a few a few things we got to do. Uh, if we talk to this soldier right here. Oh, you're a spirit from the sky. So this is the soldier that can um, basically reveal to you the secret passages in the basement of the Great Castle. We're not going to do that. Yeah, soul of reality. So we got all the souls, guys. We got all the souls. So. Uh-huh. Oh, you guys were d up to some dirty. Well, well, well. So anyway, uh, we're gonna explore those basements later. It's not super important that we do it at the moment. So, music is really strange. Ah. So, you know, we're, we're slowly getting this kingdom back together. But like I said before, I really hope that if, uh, if this kingdom gets restored, that they get off their fascistic track. And can we really trust the queen? Seems a little suspicious. So now, we get to use the we use the VIP card to get into the right place. And we're gonna be... Yeah, look at that. See, we got that spatial distortion. Now we're gonna be able to see all the hidden passageways. So, that's some really good stuff. Woo! More of these guys. We're gonna bowl them over. We're gonna restore the rest of this kingdom is what we're gonna be doing. Another soldier. And again, we're going to be talking to all these folks. I don't... Actually, you do have to go back once, I believe, to um, this place, but... Look at that. Oh, look, all those pawn knights. All those pawn knights. I, I like the uh, the color scheme here, the, uh, the purple floor. It's a nice touch. I suspect the queen was instrumental in designing the right tower. So... Oh, yeah, look at that. More houses and more decorative pathways and pillars, and it's starting to look nice again starting to regain its former glory, so to speak. Oh, look, see? There's a, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a stairway that we weren't able to see before, so isn't that cool? All right. More of these guys. We've got four more monster layers, so it looks like this is going to be one of those one monster layer spawns another type deal. Yep, that's what I thought. Boomerang men. Boomerang. Yeah, these are probably the most versatile enemies in the game. Um, just because they they move about in such a way. And they can attack you in such a way where it's it's hard to really dodge it. It's really hard to dodge these guys. Like, they're going to be... I mean, you can, of course, like, keep your distance and just shoot them with the arrow and so forth. But that's a lot of energy that they've got. That's a lot of health. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you're just better off just going right in there and taking them down. Not worrying too much about uh, how much damage you're going to take. Of course, the damage does add up over time, as you can see. Did I show you off... Uh... No, I didn't show off that magic spell. Okay. Yay! What did we get next? What are we releasing? Ah. Soldier. Now we've... Now we've uh, apparently restored the infrastructure of this... Um, of Magrid Castle. I think that... That was the last soldier you needed to release to get all the, uh, the buildings back. So... Oh, look at that. Oh, look! Mimic boxes! Those things, though, they give you a thousand EXP if you get them, so... Really is a good idea to, uh, hack and slash those get those dudes if you can. Woo! Alright. We're taking so much damage. It's crazy. Crazy! Um, I'm trying to remember if you can actually get medical herbs in this, uh, this particular world. Maybe. Oh, 80 gems. And 80 gems, okay, so hooray for gems, and I think we're going to we're gonna need to put on our medical herbs soon, yeah. We might as well. 
So finally, all this rapid fire damage is starting to get to us. No! Okay. Thought we were gonna get a level up first, but. Oh, look at that. We got, we got light blue. Our energy bar is light blue, so that means it has maxed out across the screen, and now it's gonna start changing colors, which is fun! It's really cool. Yep, more soldiers. Slowly getting life back together in the kingdom of Madrid is what we're doing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, hidden passageway. Yeah, so dancing soldier, that's literally all he does. Just like do 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 do. Yep, do 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 do. And uh, another soldier. So, all the buildings are back. Do. I like the, um, what's, what's, what's the deal with, like, the, the tile set? I mean, it does kind of look like a giant kitchen. Which, yeah, which I'm not gonna complain about. I mean, people are allowed to be creative. The right tower. And so, as you can see, now there's no distortion because there are no hidden passages here. Um, the, the soul of reality only does its thing when you're dealing with hidden passages. So, it's kind of, it's kind of a nice indicator. But yeah, I, I cannot believe just how fast I'm blasting through this game. I mean, it seems... It, it, this is definitely one of those games that seemed like it was a lot longer when you were a little kid. Just like how, you know, I'm playing Final Fantasy VI with my friend Mike, and as a kid, that game seemed fairly challenging. Now I play it, and we're just... We're just eating through everything. We're overpowered. It's absolutely crazy. Um, so it's really amazing how there are just certain things that seem more challenging when you were a kid. Um, that are much easier as an adult. Granted, adult, <laughs> the adult world has its own challenges. A lot of them, in fact, and a lot of them which are not very, very nearly as fun as uh, the challenges in this game. So, um, there are games out there that are really just difficult. Ooh, medical herb, nice. All right, yo, I want to kill you? I get myself a level up. Dun, 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 dun. Those are ugly mimics, though. They're they're kind of terrifying. Like usually mimic boxes, I don't think have like the little eyeball. Usually they're they got something else going on. All right, so we're we're getting really close to where we want to be. Another mimic box. Die mimic box. Yeah, there's no point in not killing these guys. They're just gonna give you uh, exp. That's always a good thing to have. Woo! Woohoo! And uh, where are where's the rest of you? These guys these guys are trying to be sneaky, but they're not being very successful at it. Just kind of. Oh, hello. <laughs> you gave yourself away. Little treasure chest man. So, step on this. Oh, woo, woo. And, um, huh, that's, that's suspicious. All right, let's, let's restore our health before we go on ahead. See, we're just, we're almost done with Madrid, guys. That's crazy. That is unbelievable. So, um, oh, look, we're, we, we don't have weapons. That means that this must be an important place. Hello. Yep. Oh, Dr. Leo. Hello, Dr. Leo. <laughs> a little bird told me about you, but in this game, considering that birds can talk, I believe it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. So the, the stones are actually fuel for evil. I got it. That's very reassuring. We have to, we have to free King Mag Are you sure that's a good idea? King Magrid is kind of a douchebag. I mean, he might he might make this situation worse. Uh oh, what's happening? Someone just chucked a spear at him. Doak is his name. Oh shit, we were caught by. Oh, is that the queen? Oh, she she's totally she's totally def uh, betraying us right now. No, that soldier was so nice. That's crazy. Oh yeah. So maybe she was the one behind this whole idea. Uh, as well. Maybe King Magrid was not as much to blame. Oh shit, they got Lisa? They went to Grass Valley and dragged her here? God, that bitch. She sucks. Now, what's he gonna do? I don't know. I don't know, Dr. Leo. Look like you're up to something suspicious. Oh shit. Ah. Uh. This, uh, this is definitely a statement against fascism, folks. But it just, it's hard to, uh, it's a kind of a nice twist, actually. Is that it's very likely that the Queen was the one that was suggesting that they embark on this crazy quest anyway. 
Uh oh. What, what's he gonna do? Okay, so we're gonna get on the airship. Oh, what's happening? Oh no! Whenever anybody says, "Please forgive me," oh, he just he just suicided. That's crazy. Well, he just killed. He just took everybody out. It's crazy. <laughs> I was born in the wrong generation. I should have just been around when all we had were plows and uh, tribal tribal issues, and that was it. <laughs> oh gosh, he really is Albert Einstein. But he actually did create World War III. Dr. Leo, it too. Well, poor Dr. Leo. I think he was just patent. Oh, patience. Okay, that's a misspelling. Patent tense. <laughs> Something about patents. I don't know. Aw. No, not Dr. Leo. He was cool. Leo, we are, like, our technological situation is really screwed without you. E even, you know, even with the whole summoning evil thing, I mean, like, we, we still gotta get these things running. And I don't think that you're gonna be able to do it. So, this is sad. But, and before, but before we actually go on that airship, there is one more thing that we want to do. And this is not very intuitive, but we actually want to go back to the, uh, the town. And remember where the queen was standing around? Like, she was just kind of, oh, look at this. Look at this fancy, fancy hotel room that we're, we now have the warp point in. So what we actually want to do is we want to go here. And we want to pick up this guy. Uh, the invulnerable bracelet. And that sounds really, really fancy. Like, it's going to do something awesome for you. Um, but it basically just increases your sword and armor by two. And I like to use that just because it's kind of a nice balance between your weapon and your armor. You don't have to use it. You can kind of stick to the tried and true, um, what's it called? A tried and true shield bracelet if you want because it does cut damage in half. But I kind of like it that way. So anyway, let's, um, actually let me do a quick save before we go to this next thing. Because, uh, something awful may happen. Uh, in this next part of the game, so in case it does, we're gonna be safe. So, got the super bracelet, but we actually wanna, right now, equip the airship key. Sadly, nothing new is going on with those two. She's just kind of mourning the loss of her father. And now, we're gonna get the airship going. Hooray! Airship! So, uh, some magical fun's gonna happen now. And by magical fun, I mean another boss fight. So let's put on the this bracelet. And this guy is actually kind of tricky. It's a giant falcon. And he's going to try to, like, he's going to shoot these things at you. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. So you have to kind of use a strategy that's very similar to what we use for fighting the first boss. is just thrusting. Um, I think that if you go down f further enough, he's going to start swooping in. Yeah, so... That's a lot of energy that it's got, so we're gonna be, we're gonna have our work cut out for us, whatever that thing is. Oy vey, oy vey. Um, okay, so, uh, I think the best way to do it is to just get, is to just have him swoop down at you. And yeah, okay, so I remember, you want to walk far enough down, so that way he can, um, because otherwise, you don't want him to shoot fire at you, because then he stays in one place, but, yeah, so that's, this is kind of what you want to do, and, uh, you want to try to knock off as much HP as possible. And I think that once we get to a certain point, then we are going to... Um, oh my god, I hope, I hope I can survive this battle. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit skeptical. But I think that there is a way to do this. So that you don't die. But staying down here is really what you want to do. Okay, so actually, I think I got an idea. Um, this might work. This may be a terrible idea, but... Oh boy. No, we don't want that. We don't want him to shoot fire. That's awful. Oh, there we go. We got, we got to hit him without actually taking damage. But, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of guessing at this point, guys. It's, it's, oh, no, 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 no. We don't want that to happen. But you're kind of using this little, like, box thing in the middle as a buffer. Because you are continuously getting moved back. If you haven't noticed, uh, we're actually pushing against the wind. Oh, there we go. And now... I know what you're thinking. I don't think that light arrows can actually hit this guy. Okay. Move, move, move. 
Okay. I didn't know you could actually swing at him when he was going up that way. That's 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 helpful. So I think we should be able to get this guy actually. We should be actually able to we should be okay. Now you I used to use the thrust technique, but the thing about thrusting is that thrusting doesn't do nearly as much damage as swinging. So that, I know that sounds really dirty, but <laughs> it's true. Swing does more damage. Okay. We should be able to just one more one more swing at this guy. There we go. Easy enough. That's another one of those things that used to be way harder uh, back in the day, but is now not so much. So where's that monster layer? Cool, let's go step on it. And uh, so we have released the douche master himself, King Magrid. Ah. Hmm. So is he implying that this was his wife's plan in the first place, or is he just saying... Or is he just that delusional? Is he Donald Trump? Is he basically just like, I, I can't believe it happened. I thought I was doing such a tremendous job being king, and there's this guy that told me about evil. And, you know, Death Toll seemed like such a nice guy, a very, very good guy, but, uh, you know, what can I say? He had such a tremendous deal, and uh, no, he would never, Donald Trump would never admit having a mistake. Oh, hello. It's like, thanks for watching his body slowly go out of existence. Yep. Ah. Oh, is this is this is this her way of saying I really have the hots for you, Angel Man? No, we're not a real human being. Yeah. We're kinda celestial. I forget what she says if you say yes, I don't think it's anything super important. Ah. Uh, are you in love with me? I mean we I am kinda badass and kinda handsome, so it makes sense. I, I don't blame you, Lisa, for you know Wanting, wanting a little piece of the angel man, but uh, I'm not sure if I even have the equipment for that. So anyway, cool. We uh, released King Magrid. Dr. Leo's dead, unfortunately, but it looks like we made it through all six worlds, and we're going to be heading to the world of evil pretty soon. So what's going to happen next? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Soul Blazer. This is the Benjinator, and thank you guys for watching.